Let's play this guy from, this is a, uh, he's from West Virginia, right? Yep. This guy Porterfield, where is the uh, description? Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, this guy, uh, Eric Pol- uh, Porterfield, he is a delegate from West Virginia. He apparently, um, either on the floor of the House or within a caucus, reportedly uh, was talking about fags. And was, uh, yeah, not this is the West Virginia House, not a federal uh, lawmaker. Oh, okay, West Virginia. Uh, but we definitely it was in a committee hearing. Apparently, we definitely um, we've definitely seen this stuff migrate uh, in in the uh, Republican Party. My sense is he's a Republican, maybe a wayward Democrat who likes to wear a uh, "Make America Great" hat. Um, but uh, just to give you a sense of and it's interesting. I'm very, very curious to see if um, if Dave Rubin is supportive of a guy like this who clearly is cleaning up the uh, SJWs. Um, I need to read more about him. But he doesn't like Marxist. He does, doesn't like Marxist. And uh, he's trying to make yeah. West Virginia have more of a prominent role in the country. Again. Yeah, this is an interesting um, uh, clip because it's uh, it gives you a sense of what the face of uh, abject bigotry looks like uh, in this country, but also what uh, feckless local reporters look like, too, um, when, like, what? Like, she's so mystified by what this guy is saying and is not pressing on this point, doesn't realize that, well, I mean, I guess we're watching the video, so, uh, but she doesn't realize that it would have been in her both journalistic and um, a commercial interest to uh, maybe press your subject just a little bit more on something they're saying that you don't seem to be able to compute. I ask you this. Yes, ma'am. You have a adorable daughter and a precious son. Mm-hmm. What would happen if a few years from now, when they're teens, young adults, they came to you and said that they think that they might be gay or lesbian? Well, I will address my daughter first, as I would uh, take her for a pedicure, uh, take her to get her nails done, and see if she could swim. If it was my son, I would probably take him hunting, I would take him fishing, and I'd see if he could swim. What do you mean you would see if they could swim? I just want to make sure they could swim. What do you mean by that? that, that, just, that that's it. I mean, I, I'd take them out to do activities. Okay. Okay. Uh, first off, what the guy is saying is, I would see if they could swim is a, is a euphemism for uh, I would drown them. <laughs> so he's basically saying he would kill his kids. Um also seems to be under the misapprehension that um, lesbians don't get pedicures or manicures, which I'm uh, quite sure uh, some do. Um, I also am quite sure that uh, gay men hunt and fish. Um, So he's under a couple misapprehensions, but really it seems like the reporter missed the boat when he said I would kill them. Yeah. That that was, I mean, I don't know. She some, I, I some sort of like lame jokes about cutting room floor. True Detective come to mind, but that's just kind of so sick. I'll just let it stay. No, I it's mean, some Bolsonaro shit, literally. I mean, he, I, the, yeah. I mean, and the the smile that he delivers it with oh, yeah. is like <laughs> truly bone chilling. I would like to ask Trump, like, hey, if you had a blind kid, what would you do? Well, I'd take him out, see if he could uh, read without Braille, <laughs> and then uh, see if he could swim. Did you get that? Go That's the only difference that Trump would have been like, did you understand? I said I wanted to see if he would swim. He doesn't I'm talking look, about drowning them, okay? He doesn't look exactly like Michael Phelps is what I'm saying. <laughs> Unbelievable. 